Hi everyone and welcome to this smart learning video on using revision materials. A masterclass for those of you who don't even know where to start. Let's take a look. The first issue many students face when starting to revise is making sense of the wide variety of materials that are out there for each subject. Due to the varied nature of the things you learn in school, revision materials come in many forms. Some are revision guide pages and knowledge organisers with everything in one place. Others might be past paper questions to practice, videos showing you how to do something practical in the performing arts or sport, calculations, timelines, or even just simple checklists of topics to help you organise your notes and make sure you're covering everything. So with this vast array of options, let's take things step by step. Step one is to get organised. Gather the very best of what you can find in hard copy and put it in a file for each subject. It's much better to be able to physically see, hold and interact with the notes you're going to be learning from. Next, create summaries and revision resources such as mind maps and flashcards. Remember, this is just the beginning. Despite this, most students actually stop at this point. Step two is to do something with these materials. You should be able to clearly see now what it is you need to know and also be able to spot any gaps in your notes that you need to do something about. Once all this is done, we're at the main event, which is retrieval practice. Let's demonstrate this with a knowledge organiser. Here's one you might come across in biology. It's all about digestion. There's loads here and you can't be expected to read it and know it all in one go. So choose a small chunk of information, such as the organs of the digestive system here. Read it for a minute or two and really concentrate, then cover it up and write out what you can on a scrap piece of paper. Aim to do this with around seven pieces of information. Any more and you're going to get overloaded. Now you can check for mistakes, like this spelling of esophagus. We need to improve on this for next time. If you're creating revision cards, this could be one of the first ones you make, with a note to be able to spell it out loud. If you have to learn from a diagram like this, just cover up the labels and do the same thing. You're aiming for perfectly fluent recall in the end. So this mistake needs rectifying. The answer was pancreas. Now we've looked at knowledge organizers and summary pages, Let's address what retrieval practice looks like with all the other varied revision materials you might find out there. In all of these cases, the key is simply going to be recalling the information without the notes there to help you. This is an honest indication of what you actually know, and it's a chance to strengthen your memory in the process. So with flashcards, quiz yourself or get someone else to quiz you. Mind maps, try to write them out on a blank page from memory. Then look for the gaps as an idea of what you still don't know well enough. Complete past paper questions without your folder or book open. Then ideally use a mark scheme to see where you went wrong. If you're preparing for an essay, do it in timed conditions for an honest idea about your performance. Aim to be able to carry out procedures in practical subjects with no support. Make sure you know calculations in maths and physics off by heart and that you can complete the questions by showing all of your working out. If it's a timeline, you need to know it from memory. Again, onto a blank page would be ideal. Finally, if you're practicing for a music or drama performance, it's still the same. You need to be able to do it fluently and without your lines in front of you, which is obvious stuff. And that's it. On our whistle stop tour, we started with gathering our revision materials and checking for quality. Then we made sure we've got no learning gaps. And finally, we looked at the business of actually practicing retrieval in lots of different ways. Retrieving information is always the name of the game with revision. It shows you what you can really do, as well as strengthening your memory for when the test or assessment finally comes. I hope you found this useful, especially if you're a learner struggling to get the information to stick. Have a look at all the other related smart learning videos for more information about things like flashcards. But for now, thanks for your time and all the best with your learning.